If you're anything like me, you are very excited to learn that the ASU FTX charges off of USB-C. If you're also like me, you are sadly disappointed to find out that most of your USB-C PD outlets won't charge this. Well, I found one that will, and you can hook it up to your 12 volt battery. It's this guy right here, and it's got a boost converter in it to make the 13.2 volts from your battery go to the 15 volts or 20 volts or 12 volts or nine volts or five volts. It only cost me 20 bucks and it's on Amazon. So let me show you this guy. I also want to add in the Yesu manuals for the FTX 1F, they state it wants a 15 volt, two amp, 45 watt charger to be able to charge this. Well, as we all know, 15 volts times two amps is 30 watts. I'm convinced that 45 watts is a typo because if you read the FTX manuals, there are all kinds of typos in it. It feels like you're reading a Zygu manual. So Yesu, do better. Now on with the USB outlet here. So just to bring you up to speed, let me show you what's inside here. This is a battery box that I built and inside is a 30 amp hour Bioeno lithium iron phosphate battery. So in, in all my boxes, I use lithium iron phosphate. So as we can see, our voltage 13.2 volts. Here's the meter here. We've got a 65 watt USB-C PD and we have a uh, USB QC 3.0. We push this little button. We have a voltage meter and this thing is really cool. Let me show you what this does. Let me get a USB cable here. Go ahead and plug it in. This can charge all kinds of things. It's still not perfect. There's a couple devices that I've not been able to charge that are 12 volt. Here's my ICOM ID50. Go ahead and plug that in. And we can notice right here, it says five volts. So we're putting five volts, 0.82 amps into my ICOM ID50. So we can charge that radio. Here is the VGC VRN76. Go ahead and plug that guy in, five volts. 0.86 amps, we're charging, going five watts out, life is good. Here's my Yesu FT5D with the battery pack that Kevin W0AEZ makes. Go ahead and plug this in. You can see five volts, as soon as it starts charging, 1.78 amps, it's almost two amps going into that. So that's great, nine watts going in, perfect. Here's my Apple Magic mouse that I take with me portable. You can see we're charging there, five volts, 0.44 amps. Everything's looking good. This will also charge my iPhone uh, very fast. Uh, you'll, you'll see this goes to nine volts when charging my iPhone and putting quite a bit of power in as you can see. So that's fantastic. But now let's get to some higher voltage. This is my uh, M1 MacBook Air. We'll go ahead and plug this guy in. And you can see we're charging at 20 volts now. So that's fantastic. I think I've seen like 50 watts or so. Yeah, there we are uh, going into the MacBook. So that's charging really fast. That's awesome. But now here's where it gets weird. We just saw 20 volts from this charging my MacBook Air. If we use this USB-C PD, this will also charge my MacBook Air. No problem. I don't think it does it. This max is out at like 30 watts just because that's the rating for this. But I'm charging my MacBook Air off of this. No problem. And that's what led me down this whole rabbit hole because this older style one will charge my MacBook Air. But watch, it will not charge the FTX 1F battery. So I'm like, what the heck? Here is where it gets cool. Go ahead and plug this back in. And then we'll plug in the ASU battery. And look at that, 15 volts. Now the red light's on. Putting 12 watts or so, 0.76 amps into the ASU FTX 1F battery. But wait, there's more. If we connect the battery to the radio and use the radio's USB-C, we can go ahead and plug that in. See, there's the 15 volts and there, is the red charging light, just like that. So there we have it. Now we can finally charge our FTX 1F off of USB-C via a 12 volt battery, just like that. 
I will leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. Until next time, my name is Mike K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube.